I wanted to share with you guys yung mga natutunan ko or how did the Miss Universe win uh, affected me personally. Thank you so much, Katriona, for reminding all of us, not just me, but all of us who is being inspired by you, being touched by your story. You have made a great impact because of this success story. That This one is the A1 plus 6 and this one is the Redmi. You know, wash out ako dito. Redmi Note 6. Redmi Note 6. Wash out yung face. Mas maganda yung phone ni Dada. 1 plus 6. Ang ganda nito, body composition scale. So, 56.9 daw yung weight ko ngayon. Lean muscle mass, body water percentage, BMI, body composition, visceral body type. Damn. Four triple A. Tapos mo lang siya. And then, then your hair. This one is the robot vacuum. May ikot siya. Collagen. Patrick Ali. Cute. Naman ang red lamp na to. Napaka-sleep. Ooh! Wow! Ayan. It's only one post. Talaga? Ito, bedside lamp. Ang cute. Nag-iiba-iba yung kulay niya. Ooh! Wow! Pero naalala ko pa rin si Mushroom from Omni. Hindi pa natin nakikita si Mushroom from Omni. Ang cute-cute nun. Tapos, portable mouse. Ooh! Kailangan ko pa ng portable mouse. May mouse pa naman ako. So, meron silang saksakan. Mi box. BB. May food. Hey guys! So, nagiwalay mo na kami ni Dada kasi gusto niya magtingin ng electronics and gadgets. Ako, may pinpula. And then ako naman, I need to pay yung MMDA violation ni driver sa Grab. Nakakaloka. <laughs> Hindi ako makabayad kasi wala sa akin yung ano, yung ticket. So ngayon pinagrab ko pa from Munting Lupa eh ngayon hinihintay ko siya dito sa ano, sa SMOA. Hinihintay ko yung ticket ko so that mabayaran ko siya sa bills payment kasi deadline na siya buka. So parang hindi tuloy ako makapag-shopping kasi <laughs> I have to fix this problem first so para maayos na siya. I just have to wait for the grab driver to arrive. Mga 30 minutes more so I'm just gonna order milk tea bago ako mag hintay doon sa pick up point nakaka-stress guys hindi tuloy ako makapag-shopping buti pa si Dada shopping na lang siya shopping doon Hey guys! Nakauwi na kami sa bahay tapos na kami sa MOA and yun nga walang masyadong nangyari kasi I had to uh, finish that chore which is yung ano yung MMDA ticket new driver <laughs> anyways um as you can see in the title of this video i wanted to share with you guys yung mga natutunan ko or how did the miss universe win uh, affected me personally uh wala lang gusto ko lang i-share sa world <laughs> feeling ngera pero anyways here it is of course first of all as somebody who is a Filipina made me really proud that she won the crown. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so blown away. Poof. Like, um, it reminded me of, uh, parang, 
parang national like all of us in that moment it feels like the whole of the Philippines is one and we all are praying for the same prayer and we're all like uh, rooting for Catriona to win so I'm so glad that she stood uh, there for us she really gave her all for all of us who is supporting her number two she reminded me of uh, being grateful I was not raised in a very ideal environment personally uh, I have broken family I moved from place to place you know uh, and ideally sabi nga nung psychologist ko kasi nagpatingin ako <laughs> I had depression sabi nga if I was someone else um, sabi nga uh, I would have probably not become a flight attendant or I would have probably uh, become suicidal or things like that because of the things that happened in my life and I remembered the thing that helped me go through everything that I have gone through of my life tragedies was the attitude of being grateful and right now being so busy with life and motherhood um, career vlogging <laughs> somehow it yung dating ako I feel like I lost it and watching Miss Universe you know talk about it on on that very special moment reminded me of how I used to be I used to be so grateful for everything that will come in my life and that led me to achieving so many dreams that I had in my life. So, parang looking at the positive things in life, yun talaga yung mantra ko ren when I was deep down in that <laughs> ng ano yung mga problema sa buhay. So, she reminded me of myself. I feel like uh, my old self. <laughs> Charat. Pinigyan <laughs> talaga ako. No? Pasensya na guys. I know marami magko-comment sa inyo sa video na ang arty arty ko. Pero guys, I'm just being real. Real talk. <laughs> okay. Next thing is that Katriona or her win showed me and um, reinforced in me. Uh, that negativity has no place in success because I watch Katriona Grace interviews here in the Philippines before she went off to the Miss Universe pageant specifically the one with Tito Boy sa ano bottom line live uh, bottom line interview with Boy Bo Boy Abunda and uh, that was her send off interview before she competed for the pageant and I can see a theme na over and over again, lagi siyang tinatanong, are you ready to fail? Uh, do you think it's a sure win? Mga ganun yung mga, like so many negative questions coming at her and the way she answers them, she always says na, uh, of course, I am not saying that it's a sure win. I am expecting to get what I work for. Ganun siya. And also, she was saying, I don't really think about what will happen if I don't win because that's negativity it will draw energy from me and I have to be a hundred percent focused on my goal that is to succeed for the crown and she reinforces that idea that I just read on the books before I just watch from motivational videos I just you know listen that to that idea to self-help podcasts and she she really is giving a persona to those ideas that I have been um, doing or I have been at least discovered way before that negativity really draws energy from you and what you need to do to succeed you just have to 100% focus on succeeding and being stubborn at it so I just so love her personality she's stubborn she is positive she she is you know she is just a ball of light in the universe and I'm so um, touched by her I don't know I know that I don't know her personally and I'm just basing all of this from what I see on TV or what I see from her journey and I can say that even though I don't know her personally, she had impacted me in a way that it reminded me that, you know, once, once upon a time, I was a grateful person, I was a super positive person. Not that I'm not so now, um, it's just like I'm not so focused on it anymore. I get 
carried away by stress, especially, you know, motherhood stress and things like that, expectations. And I'm so grateful that I watched this pageant yesterday because it kind of reminded me that all those things that I have gone through before, I have gone through them. I have been able to uh, surpass all of them because of my gratefulness, uh, because of uh, being positive, and because of being stubborn. And thank you so much, Katrina, for reminding all of us, not just me, but all of us who is being inspired by you, being touched by your story. You have made a great impact because of this success story that has happened in your life. I feel like her success is my success as well <laughs> because I could relate to her. I could relate to her stubbornness. I could relate to her failures. Um, yeah, so because of that, because of this today, uh, yung nangyari sa kanya because of her winning the crown it really inspired me to also go for my goal which is my current goal right now which is to become better at motherhood and to succeed as a vlogger <laughs> diba? and um, isa pa sa napansin ko sa kanya si Catriona I feel like um ano siya hindi siya mahangin diba? hindi siya mahangin at all and she just uh, parang pinatunayan niya sa akin na you can be humble and you could also be awesome at the same time. It's perfectly possible to do that. <laughs> Kasi sometimes sa Filipino culture na when somebody binabati ka, oh you succeeded, oh iba ka na ngayon kasi mayaman ka na, or iba ka na ngayon kasi magaling ka na, or iba ka na ngayon kasi sikat ka na. You know, we have that connotation na binabati natin yung person if they do anything successful succeed at anything at all or whatever it is is it financial having a relationship or career wise so and then yung uh, default response ng Filipinos is hindi naman hindi kaya parang ganun pero I saw in Katriona na pag binabati siya ng ganun she remained humble uh, by saying na always na I expect to be rewarded as much as I work for she owns it you know hindi siya yung typical Filipino na kasi ah hindi naman po parang you know belittling yourself so it shows to me na it's possible to succeed and be humble at the same time you don't have to do self you know self depreciating comments just to be humble you can be humble in a way that is awesome uh, you can be humble in a way na you acknowledge your own strength and at the same time you try to tell the person na, uh, I'm not over my head hindi wala pong hangin yung ulo ko it's just that I expect uh, to be rewarded by the same way na I am working uh, for it and then also meron nung one time na tinanong si Catriona do you expect to win and her her answer is point blank yes <laughs> I want to win I want to win for the Filipino people not just for me because I think that it's not just my fight anymore so anyways this is a long uh, rant. <laughs> it's my first rant video, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Um, it's just me sharing my point of view, and uh, I know many of you comment na whatsoever. You are free to voice your opinion, and yeah, thank you for visiting and stopping by my channel. I hope that you like this video and subscribe for more good vibes video like this and I will see you guys on the next video tomorrow. Bye!